there is a poet by the name of W. H. Auden. He wrote a poem that I'd like to share with you. The interesting thing about this poem is that I don't have any idea in what context he wrote it. The only time I've ever seen it used was in a movie and the context was uh, about a homosexual uh, love affair where one of the partners died. And I've always spent a great deal of my life being uncomfortable about homosexuality. And uh, I'm still not sure that I'm comfortable with it. But one of the things I'm very comfortable with is love. And when you hear the passion with which this poem was written, surely you understand at that point that that love is as great and as strong as any other kind of love. And I can't condemn that. Uh, I can only applaud it and celebrate it. Um, People are people and they're going to do what they're going to do. And they may not agree with the way you live your life and you may not agree with the way they live theirs. But surely there are some things that are so basic we can all agree on them. One of those things should be that it's good to care for another person. I just don't see how we can survive without that. Stop all the clocks. Cut off the telephone. Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. Silence the pianos. And with muffled drum bring out the coffin. Let the mourners come. Let airplanes circle moaning overhead scribbling on the sky the message. He is dead. Put crepe bows around the white necks of public doves. Let traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves. He was my north, my south, my east and west. He was my working week and Sunday rest. My noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever, but I was wrong. The stars are not wanted now, put out every one. Pack up the moon and dismantle the sun. Pour away the ocean and sweep up the wood, for nothing now can ever come to any good. You see, this is a poem about anguish. Anguish caused by the loss of a loved one. That same anguish would be just as strong for a mother who's lost a son, a husband who's lost a wife. I don't see the difference. So, if that anguish is the same, and equally as strong, then doesn't it follow that the love is too? So, so you don't agree with the <clears throat> mechanics of what's going on. And but I don't see how you can condemn the emotion. Because if it's pure love, then it's pure love, no matter who it is for who. And, uh, so I'll continue to be a little uncomfortable with homosexuality. But I will still celebrate the love.